me do a name and I'll do it pretty well. Okay, this meeting is being recorded via Zoom and a copy can be provided upon request. First on the agenda is approval of the minutes for August 9th, 2021. I'm going to end up updating just because I wasn't uh, here for the entire thing. Well, you're going to have to wait a second. Yeah, I can second it, but you need a third. I can't do anything other than. I'll just table until next time. Yeah. Or unless uh, we just go to the next agenda item and then wait and see if that's. Uh, Let's see if she did say she would be late, so she wouldn't come in. Was that her coming in? I someone backed up. I didn't see who got out. Is anyone out? Uh, just Jack. I think she's not. Just... It's not just you, Jack. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack. All right. I we think will... she is coming. Coming down the stairs. Yep, she's coming. Okay. Well, anyways, we can still go into old business. General discussion regarding Russell Field turf establishment. Uh, first is Steve Sprocky was meeting with Becky Ferguson and Tim Coda, the contractor, in the coming weeks to evaluate the condition of the field to determine if it can be opened. Uh, Steve is not here with us today. Well, those were his notes. That's what he had said. Okay, you do have notes? Yeah, I can talk a little bit about that. <laughs> Oh, you made it. I made it. Oh, oh my gosh. No, I know. Wait a minute. It's just reading the 10 minute one line. Okay. You have anything? Well, so um, I mean, the contractor's still working there. We haven't closed out the project or finalized anything. Um, in the recent weeks, they've uh, done some fertilization treatment. They've also applied some herbicide to you know, kill off any weeds that are in the field, um, and then they've reseeded as well. So um, it's getting there uh, in terms of being able to be used, um, but we're still recommending that we hold off any use until I think at least October 1st, if you'd like to push it to. Um, and, but you know, we're open. Um, we're hoping to, like I said, we're hoping to close out the project um, very soon, like in the next week or week and a half. And so it's possible we could try to make a determination before that if it's, if it's available or maybe rope off some areas, but we're trying to keep it closed until October 1st. Okay. There's no real hurry on the, the uh, field itself at, at this point. The only hurry is going to be for practice. Yeah. For the once it's accepted. Yeah. For the grass. The grass portion, you mean, not the athletic field itself, right? What's the um, once it's closed out? Does that essentially is that like your stamp of approval that the field's sustainable and uh, ready to be played on? Well, it's our stamp of approval that the contractor has done what they need to do, and that the grass, you know, that that the work is acceptable. Okay, um, but. I, We're still working on the grass coming in. I may, I make a movie. I think the infield is still muddy, and I think an application of of um, mason sand, mason sand, would be appropriate to put on the in on the infield alone. And and um, I, I don't think it's acceptable at this point. I think it's a a, a muddy infield. And I think if we put in in made an order of mason sand in it, then it it'll take care of at least what what we, as much as we want to control it. I just make that motion. You all you all can do what you want. It's 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 money. <laughs> so you want to accept the money field. Or you want to have them put in, and mason sand is different than the general sand because it, it's it's crystallized, so to speak, so it won't blow around. Mason sand will 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 sort of stay in one spot, mm -hmm. so it will be it probably will be muddy in the future, 
but not as much. And then, and then Lisa, I, I think I think the um, contractor got away, got away with a, a lot of a lot of minor things where, where he could have done more and did not. So we can we can go the extra length and say put in mason sand in, in the infield, put an amount certain amount in, and then then we will call it even. That 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 is just my recommendation. Who would pay for that? That would be the that would be the um, the, the person that. The 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 the, the uh, contractor. Well, I don't know if we. I don't think we can just tell them to do that. But um, oh, I mean, yeah. I, my understanding is the grass is getting there. It just needs needs some more time to establish. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm just. I'm just. Who signs off. Uh, is it Becky who is um, that signs off like once a once the project's complete and saying that? She, well, Becky's a Becky's a. Uh, Project manager essentially. And so she's going to do a final walkthrough with Tim and Scrappy, and then we'll make the final determination for the final acceptance of work. So in, I, the, like, in the next few weeks. So I mean, I, I don't, it doesn't sound like a bad idea, but yeah. I really just don't know what, what that will do. I wasn't down there, I was down there a couple of weeks ago, and it looked like it was wet in some spots, and the drainage, you know, wasn't. Wasn't perfect, but that was a couple of weeks ago. So I, I would at least be okay uh, saying something to the effect of, you know, um, making sure Becky takes a strong look and a, and a you know close look at these things before she before she okay's anything. Yeah, she did mention it. I I I made a motion, but I need a second yeah. it for the official motion. So if you all don't. If you want to go with with Becky's perusal of, of the field and her over overlook of the field, that's fine with me. Just don't sec second my motion. There a second on Jim's motion? No. No. Okay. I mean that's easy. <laughs> I've been told no many times. Good idea. <laughs> like your idea. Yeah. So is her 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 letter is part of these notes to old business, right? This uh, the letter she wrote, discussion about her. So um, do you want me let me read it out loud to the folks or yeah, it might as well. Uh, so it's from from Becky to a bunch of people here, Jay, Tim. She was out at Russell Field with the contractors. This is was the eighth. Grass is looking good. Mount Hill will return early next week to irrigate and seed. If the town chooses, we could allow limited use of the field for football and for bar. This schedule is in line with the agreement it came to last month. But keep in mind, the more we're able to limit use now, the better chance the turf will um, has to come strong. The areas immediately around the softball diamond should be out of bounds for a while longer is my recommendation to allow the football league to practice in a predetermined area if they still want to and allow BART to start using the fields in October in a limited way. The same week, week of the 20th, Mountain View will finish the infield and we'll do a final walkthrough. I think we should be able to accept the project after that with some possible punch list items. And I, I would say maybe that's right. a recommendation of that's one of the punch lists mm -hmm. saying like, geez, it's still, it's still money. We'd like a, you know, a couple yards of this uh, mix being stick, you know, be purchased and put for standby or, or something like that. I think that's where we could address that. Right. Um, and then she gets into the tennis courts. You want me, I guess. No, I, I'd like to bring up the um, charter why why is the charter school gonna have special attention to it? I mean we're gonna we're gonna limit we're gonna limit the football program use of it quite curtail it quite a bit. As far and, as to the area. And and now we're just gonna say, okay, charter school. She's recommended go we, crazy. We didn't approve it. 
Right, but I, I, I'm, I'm saying we should limit the use. Uh, have char know. charter school limited use to our media. You know, yeah. I mean, you give them free use. Now, how much have they paid to have it fixed? And I love to keep answers about that. Okay. Uh, last paragraph about the tennis course. Tennis courts are the biggest concern right now, she says, as they are being used improperly and have been vandalized already. One tennis net was stretched by kids sitting on it. Both hand cranks on the nets have been stripped and need to be replaced. And there are already some graffiti on the surface of the courts. It's important to recruit the PD to help monitor the site and get additional permanent rule signs, which state clearly the only allowable use for the courts. Becky. So thank you. Jim. Informative. Yeah. Uh, to, to Jim, to your point, I don't think uh, when they talked about bar, I think it's kind of like they're talking about laying out a patch of grass that's usable and during the day let Bart use it and then at night let football use it. That's kind of like what I envision. I don't think they're doing a free for all on the on the field. I, I, mean, I just get the feeling the bar's going to do anything they want in that field, and and all the other all the other parts are, are going to be limited in what they can do. I want I want parts to be limited too. But that, that that's just one person. You all can say. Oh, are we um, are we voting on these old business things? They need vote. I assume. Um, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, we actually have a board. At, at some point, I don't know if it's just the notes that can uh, get our point across about the punch list and possibly the, the water, water concern or the, the mud concern, but as long as that's captured somewhere. But I feel comfortable. And if we're not taking a vote on it. You can I'm just bring, bring, bringing up the issue. If, if, if you all said we brought it up, we'll, we're going to cover the punch list through Becky. Can you say we'll do it that way? Then that's fine too. Yeah, as long as Becky gets the message. I, I, as long as Mark gets the message. Oh, right. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, they, they, they've got almost unlimited use of the field, and they, they, they have minimal, um, minimal contribution. But that's just me being grouchy. All right, what have we done? We have done, uh, I think just A. All right, general discussion regarding Russell Field pickerball updates. Uh, it's heard. It's vandalism. I think we should go back to Steve and see if we could, we could uh, have, have a, uh, a key, key, Entrance to the field when, when when it's not being used. That that people the the, the uh, tennis people would have a key to go in and use it, and then when they were finished, lock it up again. So what happens for the individuals that just want to go in and play tennis? They they have to go through the tennis the, the tennis group. They would have to go through the tennis room. I, I agree that becomes a, I mean, what becomes the other choice is we, we, we replace the, the tennis court nets every month. Okay, it was on. Well, what, what tennis groups are there? I'm just trying to understand. Is there a tennis group? There's, or there's one, no, there's um, there's one organization. Was it Mr. Um, geez, I forget his name. He used to do left. 
I don't know if he still does. I forget whether he applied for use for his lessons. Um, so Mr. Spangler's husband. I don't so think he, I don't think he's, he's oh. Okay, well, I'm not sure. I, well, I thought there used, to, there used to be like one, uh, one man who kind of would have run a, a loose organization. It wasn't like a, anything there's, formal. There's women down there that play tennis. And they and they um, they have access to it. Um, well, I know I was getting a lot of calls before it got opened, and they're saying, "When is it going to be open? When is it going to be open?" So I figured they were, they were just living here in Adams, and they just get, wanted to come close by to a tennis court rather mm -hmm. than have to go to Williams College or some other place. So yeah, I, yeah I, had, I had a couple calls too, just folks looking to to go down. Right. But, well, let, let's let's go the way it is. Right, you're right. You know, it's go the way it is, and then all of a sudden it gets torn apart, or you can't use it. Then come up with an alternative. Because because I mean, you know, I, I see Michelle's point. The general public wants to use it; they should be able to use it. Sure. What about one of those lock boxes that realtors have? So you have to go on, per, uh, ask for permission. Your name is in there. You get the code. You get the key. I'll unlock it. Go in, and then you're responsible. Your name's on there. I mean, I don't know if that's something that would be possible, but mm -hmm. then at least you know people would have access. They could go on request in however many twenty four hours, forty eight hours, right. and then get the access code. Get in. We have their information if they did any damage. Mm. I think that's a good idea. It's a great idea. I think it's more work for one other yeah. person. Yeah. It's not me, but um, um, I see some, no one's really mentioned my name. <laughs> the other thing, too, is this possibly just locking it up and only having it open for certain hours, but that would be pertaining to the hours that the DW team work and the traffic commission works so that's <clears throat> so time frame. Right now they're unlocked forever. So. Oh it doesn't get locked up overnight. I guess so. no, that is your problem right there. Just have them lock it up. Like it does get yeah. Yeah but that means that they've got to come out on well not yeah. so I, yeah. Lock it up at night, unlock it during the day. Yeah. That's what I was asking about Russell. I thought it used to be, or not uh, Renfro. That way, do it right there. At least it handles it for the week, yeah. weekdays. Mm -hmm. And when it's dark, that's probably when this happened, more than likely. But then it'll be locked up. Right at night, and we'll be able to get in. It might help. Yes. Then, then we have to determine what happens on the weekends. On the weekends. <clears throat> oh, I think it's a good suggestion. I recommend we we, we go to Becky Ferguson and to and to Ammon Coughlin and have them um, come up with an answer. <laughs> Any suggestions? We've talked a little bit about trying maybe going back to have it being locked and you know by permission only. Um, and I, mean, I, I like the idea of a combination lock. Um, I can try to inquire with Steve or DPW about what they've done in the past. I wonder, my understanding is that in the past it was locked. Um, and so they said they had it. So I wonder if they did in the past that worked. A combo lock. I think a combination mm -hmm. lock would be a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Something that would allow us, you know, anybody that wants to go use it to go, go in there and not have to come back and forth between town hall yeah. and drop off a key. But yeah. who knows? I mean, I always just get another $2. Kind of a lot, you know. Yeah, you can't go that far. You can go well, that far. Well, say if someone loses it. Yeah. We also did talk, and we told the uh, police department about the vandalism. And um, uh, I mean, I'm not sure of the solution there. They're going to provide us for patrols, but it's the still, it's least hard to see from the road, even. Yeah, you know? yeah it's, 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 it's far. And there's plenty of woods for anybody to run away to. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, combo lot. And the town of Lock can get the ones where you can change the every you know, I make a make a motion that we we um turn this problem over to 
Becky and, and Damon and had to come up with a, a, a possible solution, which which you've already had. You already have. Well, we we've talked about some ideas, but yeah, we can come up with ideas yeah. formally. Yeah. Do we have a, a second to that motion? Uh, no, but if you want to take it off, I'll just make a motion that we suggest they put a combo lock on there and uh, keep the keep the, the code at town hall for anyone to call up and to get access to. Okay. I'll second that. And since I did not have a second to my motion, yeah, my motion dies. <laughs> All in favor? Uh, Aye. Passes unanimous. It's just a recommendation, anyways. Right. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What else do we have? To do? All right. Uh, Russell Field scoreboard quote from Summer Electric for installation. We have a quote from Summer Electric, I believe, for four hundred and seventy-six dollars. And I believe we should. It should be Michelle. It will be covered by our donation from the Lions Club. Yes, yeah, between the scoreboard itself and this quote, it it falls within that four thousand dollars. Okay, we have to take a formal vote on installation and and the scoreboard itself. Accepted. Accepted. Well, I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion to uh, to accept it as as written. Okay. Second. All in favor. Aye. Unanimous. All right. Now we're, now we're, now we're. All right. <clears throat> Discussion in Reed Field. Update on how the aggregate spread is handling the rainwater. Uh, Scrocky's notes said uh, the aggregate makes it easier to manipulate with the machinery. So I guess that's good. Really nothing else we can talk about there. It's, now, was that, um, what that was, kind of mix was it? Uh, that was the... Aggregate was a fancy word for what's some sort of dirt. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They had... Uh, is it uh, topsoil or is it like... Uh, I'm looking at last one, so I'm going to give you the exact name of it. It's already on. Oh. They put it on some so yeah. yeah, that's just like a little heads up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. It's information. I forget the official name of it. Or is that mason sand you're talking about? No, it's, no, no. It's, it's some kind of absorbent material. I forget the, the clay. But it's a clay combination. Sand field stuff. Yeah. All right. Okay, general discussion regarding new shed at Beaver Bark, Beaver Bark Park at Valley Street. Scrappy to look into quotes. Well, all I know from Scrappy was he saw an a quote he didn't actually give me the number but even used sheds were very very pricey and i had asked well, what about my can did they not build it and i think that there was a com conversation before covid that that might be happening or they're going to do something or build something yeah, it's, yeah. So, i don't know if that's a discussion y'all can have but it's not really so that last time was it um it was in, it was in coronation of the Shed down at the Russell. They were going to ask for cans. Oh, that was that. Yeah. 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 I think if McCann's out and about doing things. Well, I, you know, you know, I, I think Steve should be here, or he should write it up. Yeah, we, I, we, they, I, Steve, they make a recommendation to yeah. go to Steve and say, write something up for us. Relay that message to Steve for us. We, we, can't, we can't have somebody come out of nowhere and say, we want something, and then without any definition of what they want. What it is. Yeah. Now, did uh, Little League, or they used to. Remember when we were talking about irrigation, they you know they offered to do do pretty much everything themselves. I wonder if anyone just up there at the in one of the, the baseball organizations would have a have a shed or have the materials or want to build it, want to donate one. I'm assuming somebody already asked them, but maybe maybe they haven't. Remember when they offered to pretty much do all the work for the irrigation up there? Yeah. So, I mean, they were pretty generous 
group. So maybe, I don't know if Steve can, I don't know who runs the baseball league right now. Oh, Scracky. It's a different Scracky. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, maybe Steve can just touch base with whoever's, if you can look up who the point person is for Little League. I think that, that was uh, yeah, Dr. Bush that- We're not gonna said. need, we're gonna, not gonna need that facility again until next year. We're talking up uh, Beaver Bar, right? No, we're talking, we're talking. No, no we're talking about Beaver Bar. Yeah, yeah, Billy. Yeah, we're talking oh, about Billy. Yeah, it's yeah. Billy. Yeah. Yes. They're not using it now. Well, Bart is asking for it for soccer. Well, right. Yeah. No, we're, we're talking about the shed, though, right? We're yeah. still on the subject of the shed. Yeah, the, the shed. Is that the shed? Like, uh, it's the, the little shed. He oh, is this the, the soccer says, field shed? I think, I, well, I'm thinking Beaver Bart. Oh, Isn't that the little, the little park area? He yeah, so it's a like two small, small part. Yeah, it's over by the um, bat cage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's just like a bat, little backyard. Yeah, bed right that's now. what I thought. They were yeah, you yeah. said it's too small. It's right, I bet, yeah. I bet it is. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I assume someone in the, the Little League would gladly donate something. Yeah. Well, then let's go to Steve and have him either come personally or have the Little League representatives come. Come in front of us and tell us what they what they, what they would want to do and how they would want to do it. In the past, they 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 taken care of the bill. Right. <laughs> that was why we did a good job. Right. Okay. Good. Yeah, you guys all facilities be possible for the Russell Field Bart School. Jennifer Shaketch uh, is asking for a fitness class. Um, so I can speak to that. If yeah. You want to. So these these um, forms came in after our last meeting. So rather than have to wait till this meeting to get approved, I brought it forth to Jay Green and got it approved through them. Oh. So for the fitness class, it was approved with conditions only of the availability of when Russell Field will be opened. So they're not supposed to be using it right now. Um, they did ask if they could use the courts for their fitness class. And I said, no, because it's specific for tennis or pickleball. And we don't want to deter people from playing tennis if they're on the court. So that's where we left it with them. So it's approved until, until we open it. We I need I need a a um, specific um, where they come in and and, and and do a request for use of the field, and then we can we can look at it. They did. Oh, okay. They so. did. So that's what I was saying. It came in after our last meeting. So rather than have to wait for this meeting, there was two requests from Bart one for Valley and one for the Russell Field. So it was approved based on the Russell Field was approved based on when we actually open it. So right now it's not open, so they're not using it. So I will be touch base, touch basing with them once we say, okay, you can go on and Bart, Bart is going to be using Valley Street Field, if yes. that's what we're talking about. In coordination with with the um, soccer group, so when, and that was taken care of at the last meeting. It, it was the soccer team was, but not Bart. Bart wasn't on included on that one yet. Oh, good. Well, they are. That's the that's B of the new building. Yeah, they're both for Bart. Yeah. Yeah. One's Russell Fitness. The other one's Sacra Valley. For Valley. Right. Yeah. And the one for Valley good. has been approved. So they right. same thing by that. But they haven't approved it for Russell. Correct. It's only approved based on when we open up Russell. So basically so whatever's not open, they're not. So the same conditions or whatever caveats that would apply to like the football team. Correct. Would would also apply to uh the bar. Correct. 
So it sounds like it's going to be whatever piece of the outfield is sustainable. It's going to be where they're going to allow them to to have their fitness class on. Mm -hmm. What are we going to wait till we talk about them? What the your group came up with a usage of, of the field by by the football. What what was the result of that? What did they last last months? Yeah. With uh with Mike Mucci and so well, I well, thought that they, was they were they were, they were oh, gonna many speaking about that, we it can got pass the turn. You can pass the minutes now. We got overturned. <laughs> we got overturned. We approved it. For Russell Field, and it got overturned by the town manager. And oh, yeah, by Jay. Oh, it's now was sent over to Renfrew. So they're practicing at Renfrew now instead of Russell. And they're going to practice in Renfrew, <laughs> but not at Russell. And then they're going to let then they're going to let Bart use it. Well, I'm assuming. And then when they what? Well, I would hope that if that became because right now they don't want anyone at it, so I can understand. <laughs> Them that exactly we don't, we don't think well, we don't really want anybody on it right now, but then we're hope our hope is that we can because I know we're going through, we're through is really like only for games and things. Mm -hmm. Um, that when we open it up for everyone, there'll be a few football. Well, I, I don't think you should turn down football and, and then give Bart the right to use it. I don't I, I think that's incorrect. It, it looks like that, but I don't think that actually. Or not happen. So no, none of them are on it yet. But it does sound like that, saying it's approved with the conditions. So right. It's just that Bart's application came in several weeks after. So it's looking a little better now. So Bart and the football are not on Russell. Correct. Right. If, you, if you have Bart and Russell and football together, yeah, and Russell start using it. Well, I'm all set with it. But if, if they say no football, you have to practice. Football and Renfro. That was the whole point. That's why we once, once the football is clear, we know the clear also. Yeah, but, but, but yeah, in the meantime, you're gonna let Bart use it. No, no, no one. No one is on Russell. Nope. No. no one. No one. Nope. No one. Not until it's the project's no. clear. Not until yeah, we're hoping and we're hoping October first can be right, fully reopened. Like, okay, and then then we can and then that will be a fair shake if the if bar football they would both be able to use it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Okay, I'll accept okay. that. But I don't want where they they say football camp and bar. You can do it. Right. Right. Good. All right. General discussion of Renfrew Field and how it's holding up to the youth football practice. And you know, Russell is closed. Like, there you go. Second page. I did not see. Yeah. That. Turn it over. <laughs> Anyone? Uh, I haven't been down there. Me either. I don't know. You heard anything oh, about I know, yeah. know Scrappy so, had did say that Mochi has been doing a really good job of keeping it intact. So he hasn't had any complaints about how it looks right now. Yeah, so, yeah. I did hear they were, you know, changing their areas, you know, instead right. of going back in the, you know, the 20, 25 yard line and move it up. Yeah. So. Who's the is going to be playing in a couple games there, right? They already played one. Yeah. yeah. I forget how many. Two, three are approved. Okay. So there were no complaints or nothing. The field was okay. Yeah. The weather was the key. Yeah. You had good weather, then they play it, play it. Okay. All right. Well, you just got to go back to minutes. Oh, that's right, Caleb. We waited for you. We're going to approve the minutes from what? From what? Uh, the August 9th meeting. Well, Jake you. wasn't here, so we need you and Jim and Jim. Yeah, I'm not staying for that. I make a motion we approve the minutes. Second. Of the August meeting. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. And one abstention. One abstention. Okay, then Michelle, one abstention. Okay. okay. Yes. Go to the order. Okay, do you have anything? Okay, yeah. Jake. Uh, I just, I just, I know we said it before, but thanking, thanking the Lions Club for their donation. So we're seeing there the 
the fruits of that donation coming to coming to play now. So thanks. Jim? Um, no, I, I just think having an equitable between the different leagues is very important. And and I, I still believe we should try to save Renfrew as much as possible to games only rather than to practice. Yeah, what's what's Russell? I mean, you got him on the field. Tank. Well, see now they'll, now they'll, now they're gonna be all set. Now they're not gonna. They're up at the high school. Now the the football team, the the JV, or the you're practicing up at the high school. They're practicing up to the high school. Right, come. I don't know if they're up there every day, but I know they've been up there. Yeah, well, they only have to be up there a couple of days a week. And, and then when it gets dark, that's when they need the lights. The lights. <laughs> By then, we're hoping October 1st comes along. And then, then they, they are able to share the usage. Yeah. All right, next meeting day. What we have? Oh, October 11th is a holiday. Oh, yeah? Was that Columbus? Mm-hmm. We're going to pick up Greylock this year? Or is it... Well, sure. Let's all yeah. do it. Yeah. All right. Instead of a meeting, we're all hiking up Greylock. Okay. <laughs> we'll start at 5 p.m. So it's <laughs> nice and dark when we finish. <laughs> all right. October 4th or 18th? What's your choice? How about, how about the two, Tuesday after, after the Monday? I can handle that. No, wait a minute. Tuesday is a uh, twelve. Yeah, that's okay. I'm good with four twelve or eighteen. So yeah, I think I'm okay with four. Four twelve. I can do four twelve. You know what I mean? Just miss miss it one day. Anybody else have meetings on Tuesdays? I have to check because <laughs> I don't have access to see it right now. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. And if there is a conflict, I mean, do we do we really need to have our meetings on Zoom? Because it seems we're never in a conflict now because we're sharing the Zoom. Oh, is that why? That's why. Because this is the. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. So I, think it, I think a lot of it might depend on if you have visitors or people that are invited. Okay. They have reaction for Zoom as well. I see. I just thought I'd bring it up. Well, well, for now, then let's, uh, let's make, make it Tuesday, for Tuesday, now. October 12th at 5 p.m. As I found the day. Okay. The 12th. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking to adjourn. Second. <laughs> Second, all in favor? Aye. Unanimous. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Wow. 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 So I'll find out if the Tuesday is a, a wash. If we can. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just give us not the 18th, though. Um, yeah, we're on the 18th. If we do the 18th, if the 12th isn't available. Cool. Good. Yeah. I don't think anybody has meetings on the 18th. Usually Monday or Wednesday. You know the zoning board, I think, goes Tuesday. Yeah, not at 5, though. <laughs> yeah, they usually be later. It's like 7, 6 or 7. Okay. Pretty like crazy ones. Yeah. That good for you, five o'clock? That's fine. Okay. Yeah.